We are going to make some biscuits and gravy. Yes, we are. We got this stuff just for cooking. And I got to get out. Other stuff. Need a little bit of flour. All purpose. All purpose flour is always good. And we got our sausage in here. Just to cook it, and do a little stir here, let it get cooking. Once it gets cooking real good, gotta brown it up. We need the grease. And we need a big spoon. And we need a wooden spoon. Gotta have that. Gotta have a wooden spoon. And the metal spoon is only for dipping out the freaking flour. So, that we're going to do. Alright, just cooking this up, getting nice and brown. Then we're going to make a, a little bit of flour, thicken this up a little bit, make a roux. I'm probably going to make a really big mess, so bear with me. Wow, this is just a cooking. So we've got about medium heat. That's what we want. Medium heat. Alright, so we got that going. You can see this, right? Right, 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 right. You can see that. Good, good, good. Alright. So all right, while that's cooking there, you're gonna take about Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Right there, just like that. We don't want to get that big, nasty old flour taste. We don't want that. We don't want that in there. Yeah. Got that there. Might need a little bit more. We'll find out here in just a minute. Let me here. Stir it up. And make a roux. Nice roux. That way that'll get that stuff to thicken it up a little bit. But we don't want no lumps. No lumps in our gravy. That we do not want. We do not tolerate any lumps. Okay, so we got that in there. All right. Got that stirred in there nice and good. Eh, you know what? Let's put about another half a tablespoon in there. Just a little bit. Gotta have that. Yeah, you gotta have that. Get it stirred up in there real well. Like that. And you got your milk, alright? You don't use that 2% bullshit milk, that colored water stuff. You gotta use whole milk. You need that fat. You need that stuff in there. You gotta have it. Alright? So we got our roux going on here. All right, on about a medium heat. Okay, that's good and brown. Got a nice little roux going. All right, now, time to add the milk. About a 20 ounce cup. That's what I got in here. And we're just gonna dump that whole sucker right in there. Ah, need a little bit of a mess, but it's gonna be all right. All right, give her some stirring going on. Get some stirring going on. Up of there, get the stuff off the bottom. And don't worry about the stuff being on the bottom because after it cooks thoroughly, that stuff will come right up off the bottom. So, you're not going to have to worry about that. So, we're going to keep stirring this a little bit. And then, naturally, with all flour products, you got to have salt. Got to put in about, eh, I don't know, a quarter teaspoon, teaspoon, or half teaspoon, something like that. Just enough to get rid of that flour flavor. We got lots of thickening in the half of here. I'm going to start. I'm going to turn that heat up just a little bit. Get to bring her to a boil. Now we stir. Never stop stirring. Always, always keep stirring. Always stir. Always. Keep 
stir it. Keep it stirring. Okay, now, secret ingredient. Here we go. See that? Hot sauce. Texas Pete. You don't want a whole lot. Just enough to give it a little flavor. Just enough. A little bit. I'm going to put a little Texas Pete in there. Just enough to spice it up a little bit because I don't, I'm not using any any spicy uh, sausage, so this will help with that. This will help spice it up a little bit. All right, that was probably about, I don't know, half a teaspoon, something like that. Run that around in there. Get it all mixed in real good. Pepper. I don't use pepper because it gives me indigestion. I don't use it, but it's good to add. Like it, I can't. I can't use pepper because it bothers me. I love pepper. I really, really do, but I can't use it. So, anyway, just so that you know, while this is getting ready to come to a boil, I have made some biscuits. We got biscuits. We got biscuits. We got some nice big. Big old biscuits. We got biscuits. So we're going to keep this, this stirring so she can start to thicken a little bit. Not yet. She's still thin. It'll start to thicken. She'll thicken up real soon. Yeah? Real quick. She'll start thickening up. And in the meantime, when I was getting warmed up, I'll put this back. Put this away. Put this in here. Okay. I keep my flour in the fridge. Okay, now we're starting to get a little boil going on. Turn that heat down. Turn that heat down because we're going to boil over if we don't. Got to cut the heat back a little bit. And we're starting to get some thick in it now. We're getting thick. We're starting to thick. That's what we want. We want some nice, thick stuff. We gotta keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, turn that heat down a little bit more because she's starting to thicken really good. She's starting to thicken real good. She's getting thick, thick, thick. thick, thick. And that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do. It's simple. Simple to make some biscuit gravy. Biscuits and gravy are great, they're quick. Just make sure you have the grease, the flour, and the milk. The milk is very important. Now, there is another little secret that the country folks use. I don't use it anymore because I never know how much of it to use. I really don't. So, But they used to use the uh, canned milk, uh, evaporated milk. They use that. And I don't. I don't use the evaporated milk because you never know how much of it to use. You know, I guess until you fill your pan, I guess. I don't know. But I prefer the uh, the whole milk. The whole milk is good. Plus, I like to drink a big old fat glass of whole milk along with my biscuits and gravy as well. So, you know, that's how that goes. So, but, okay. We got some... Thick gravy going on. I'm gonna let that thicken just a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's get a little thicker. It only takes a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes. It doesn't take very long. It's a simple process. When you add that hot sauce in there. That take 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 place of the spiciness. If you get uh, if you don't like your uh, spicy sausage, then you just use. Uh, just use uh, a little bit of hot sauce in there to do it. Just that little bit of tang that you want. And that's all you need. And then you got yourself a nice, nice little dish of gravy. That is nice. That's nice and thick right there. It's thickening up a little more. That's what we need. We got just the right amount of flour. I think that was like uh, maybe 
two and a half, three tablespoons of flour. You don't want that. If you get too much flour in there, that's what your gravy is going to taste like. You don't want that. You never want it to taste like flour. That's why you've got to stay away from that. So we've got this here. And that's it. So I will be back shortly. And I will show you the final product. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. And there we have our biscuits and gravy with sausage. Sausage, gravy, and biscuits and a slice of sausage. Doesn't get any better than that, people. It just don't get any better. Thank you. Appreciate it. Try this recipe. It works pretty good. Works for me. See ya.